Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. We will derive this formula first. This is my first term actually. And uh, let me call this A minus B. This point let me call this A dash. This point let me call this B dash. And this next point B anything in this video. Now if you see, let's assume that this total height is H1. I mean this, I'm assuming things now. So this height is H1. H1 is total height from here to here. Correct? So this height, let me assume the height of the first term BH. Because that is what we have assumed. So let me assume whatever we assume earlier. This was H. This we assume to be R2, I think, yeah, R2. And this we assume to be R1. That's a typical convention we have. Correct? This is what we have assumed. And this is what we assume to be L, the slant height. Now let me assume the slant height of the whole cone will be L1. Let me assume that. So slant height of this will be L1 minus L. Correct. Similarly, the whole height is H1, this is H. So this guy will be H1 minus H. Minus H. So I put all the values here now. Bone with the first two, everything is there. Now at first I think I have to derive what is the surface area and what is the volume. So now I am deriving the volume. To first derive this, what we can do is, since we know the volumes of cone, if we can find the value of H1 and the L1, you see what we have taken extra, see H, R1, R2 is something we know we have to take, this is R1 actually, R1, R2, L and H is something we should take, right, because for the cone, we use all these values to find area and surface area, the only unknown here is L1 and H1. Correct? L1 and H1 is unknown we have taken. So if we can find L1 and H1 in terms of L, H or R, our problem is solved. Then we can find the volume of the whole cone and we can just find the volume of the cost of also. So the first aim should be to find the value of L1 and H1 in terms of L and H. If we are able to find the volume L and H, L1 and H1 in terms of L and H, we can just find the volume of this bigger cone. And we can find the volume of smaller cone, we subtract it, we get the volume of this first. Correct? And the volume of, you see, the bigger cone and smaller cone are all in terms of L1 and H1. Take the volume of bigger cone, this 1 by 3 pi R1 square into H1, in terms of H1. And uh, pi R1 into L1, the volume of the surface area of the bigger cone. So everything, if you see, is in terms of L1 and H1 only. So, what we can do, first thing is we have to find the values of L1 and H1 in terms of L and H. To do this, what we can do, if you see this is a triangle here, this is a triangle here and they are similar. So let me draw this. This is a similar triangle here. You observe there, this is O, this is B dash, this is B. Let me call this point C dash, let me call this point C, this is C and C dash. So if you see this triangle O C dash B and O C B are similar, why? Both are perpendicular, this angle is same, they are parallel and this angle is common. So both are similar actually. Correct? Both are similar. So if both are similar, then we can say that O C dash by O C, you see the right side of this smaller triangle by side of smaller triangle, bigger triangle. So I write here smaller by bigger to make things simpler smaller by bigger, just this is for understanding I'm taking smaller by bigger, that is O C dash by O C this will be equal to C dash B dash smaller side by the bigger side C B and this will be equal to O B dash by O B correct? because the triangle is similar, why? because triangle O C dash B is similar to triangle O C B why? Because this angle is equal to this angle, same angle, 
this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle. There. So I'm not writing all those things because I don't have much space, but you can say that these two triangles are similar, so I'm writing this way. So if you see here, OB is nothing but L1 minus L and OB, OB dash is L1 and L1, right, from here to here and OB is completely L1. Similarly, C dash, B dash is R2 and this guy is R1 and here also this guy is H and this guy is H1 minus H and this total thing is H1 actually. So I can say O, o C dash, O C dash is nothing but H1 minus H and O C is the whole length that is H1 is equal to C dash B dash is R2 and C B is R1 O B dash, O B dash is L1 minus L and OB is L. So I got the CT. So from this, if you see this, what you get is 1 minus H by H1 is equal to R2 by R1 is equal to 1 minus L by L1. So I have to find H by H1. I can very easily find. So I can see that if I take these two, what I get is H by H1 is equal to 1 minus R2 by R1. So R1 H. This is nothing but R1 minus R2 by R1. So I can say that H1 will come out to be H R1 by R1 minus R2. That is the value of H1. So I found the H1 in terms of H R1 R2. Correct? Because you see the formulas, I have used R1 R2 and H in the form of volume. That is 1 by 3 pi H into R1 square plus R2 square plus R1 R2. All these values are there. So H1 in terms of H R1 R2. Similarly, let me find L1 in terms of L R1 R2. So I can see that I will take these two equations. So I get 1 minus L by L1 is equal to R2 by R1 or I get L by L1 is equal to 1 minus R2 by R1 or I get L1 is equal to L R1 by R1 minus R1. So this is my first equation and this is my second critical equation. So I found H1 and L1 in terms of H R1 R2 and L R1 R2. 50% of the battle is volume. Now I can say that volume of frustum is equal to volume of bigger cone minus volume of smaller cone. You see, if you take this big cone, from this big cone, if you subtract the small cone, you'll get the volume of first one. Correct? So what is the volume of bigger cone? 1 by 3 pi. This the radius is R1. R1 square into height is H1. H1 minus volume of smaller cone. 1 by 3 pi R2 square into H minus H1 minus H is the now if you see H1 here, we know H1 is H R1 by R1 minus H. So we will put this value here. So this becomes 1 by 3 pi R1 square. H1 is H R1 by R1 minus R2 minus 1 by 3 pi R2 square h1 is again h r1 by r1 minus r2 minus h so if you see my formula it has only h r1 r2 that's all i have you see this clearly it has only h r1 and r2 if you solve this further if you solve this keep solving it i'm not solving it for you if you keep solving it what you'll get you'll get pi by 3 into h into r1 square plus R2 square plus R1 R2. 
that is what you get. If you solve this, you will get this much. You see this, this is nothing but everything in term of h r1 r2, you keep solving this, you will get pi by 3 h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. And that is the proof. I found the volume. Now second thing is I have to find the surface area. For this I will use this formula. L1 is equal to L R1 by R1 minus R2. So let me do it. So what I have got now, L1 is equal to L R1 by R1 minus R2. This formula I have derived actually from the earlier slide. Now I have to find surface area. So again let me write here or this understood. This becomes R1 this becomes R2, correct? This becomes L1, this is L and this is L1 minus L. So here also surface area of first term will be equal to surface area of bigger cone minus surface area of small cone correct you take surface area of big cone you subtract surface area of small cone you get the surface area of flat, uh, this first term so surface area of big cone is what pi r1 l1 surface area of small cone is what pi r2 here the length is l1 minus l l1 minus l correct so this is formula will use to convert everything into pi r1 r2 l1. Well. So what I will get? Pi r1, l1 I can write nothing but l r1 by r1 minus r2 minus pi r2 into l1 is nothing but l r1 r1 minus r2 minus l. This is what we get. Correct. If you solve this, what you get? pi l r1 square by r1 minus r2 this one will get here we will get pi r2 l this will get r1 minus r1 plus r2 by r1 minus r2 this cancel so what I will get pi l by r1 minus r2 common into r1 square minus r2 square this I can write pi l r1 minus r2 a square minus b square I can write a plus b is r1 plus r2 into a minus b that is r1 minus r2 this gets cancelled so what I will get is pi l into r1 plus r2 and this is my unit square correct because that is in, and that is my answer see very easily I could find the only thing is we found L1 in terms of L R1 and R2 and there we found H in terms of H R1 and R2. Then we can say that volume of the bigger volume of first time is volume of bigger cone minus volume of smaller cone and surface area of first time is surface area of bigger cone minus surface area of smaller cone. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.